Well, fishy folks, I thought I would take you on a journey to pick up some fish from the airport. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage, perhaps some coffee, because it's 6.16 a.m. Sunday morning, and the brisk 24 degrees, and stand by. All right, fishy folks, 30 minutes later, and I am at Southwest Cargo. I will go inside, pick up my box, and bring it home. Stand by. Well, fishy folks, I'm an idiot. So this flight was supposed to arrive on Saturday at 6 p.m. EST in Philadelphia. It took off 5 a.m. on Saturday from Los Angeles. I was a little annoyed when I got all this information because the Southwest Cargo Hub here in Philadelphia closes at 2 on Saturdays. So I was concerned that the fish would be left in the warehouse, which is not heated overnight. Fortunately or unfortunately, they haven't arrived yet because the flight that they were on was weight restricted. So they took the package off amongst many other packages. So I'm an idiot because I didn't check the website to make sure the package had arrived. I just assumed it arrived yesterday left at butt crack early and now it won't be here for another five hours so now i'm going to go back home wasted trip the dumb things that sometimes people do like me but this is the life in the fish business stand by for updates coming soon all right, fishy folks, it is now Monday evening, about 7.30. I just got back from the airport, Philadelphia International Airport, Southwest Cargo Terminal, and uh, every fish dead. The whole box dead. Ice cold, too. You know, I felt them with my calibrated temperature hands. I imagined the fish were, that the water was in the 40s. It was ice cold. Um... I didn't have to pay for the, the shipping. Uh, they didn't obviously make me pay because they knew it was all dead. I opened it there. They were very apologetic, even though it wasn't the, the guy's fault in Philly. Um, essentially, it was delayed three separate times. Uh, it was, I was supposed to get it Saturday morning. I didn't get it till Monday evening. Um, there is insurance on it, so I should get that money back. All the money for the shipping that I paid... Um, or all the money from that I paid the trend shipper and all the money for the guppies. Um, I won't get the money for the, the cost to ship them from my importer or from my wholesaler uh, in Asia all the way to the trend shipper in Los Angeles. So cost of doing business. Uh, you know, there are plenty of people out there that think they can just find a, a trans shipper and start buying fish and selling them and they find out the hard way that it's not that easy you know there's a lot more care involved there's a lot more flexibility you need a lot more expenses than just the fish and you know here's one of them so i had to file a claim with with southwest cargo 30 to 45 days before there's a decision made on the claim so essentially six weeks i'm out all the money um you know running a business is hard and uh, I try not to hide anything from you guys. I never have. Uh, and this is just, just the cost of doing business. So I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to red dragons, blue uh, grass, uh, full red albinos. I won't have them probably for at least a month now. Um, you know, not only am I out the money, but I don't have any guppies to sell to make that money back. So yeah, it's gonna be rough, so. All right, guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, you can check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com. I do have some guppies. We have purple dragons. Uh, we have really nice purple mosaics. I have lots of plecos in stock. And uh, it's muck guppy season coming soon. So hope you guys liked it. Actually, I hope you guys didn't like it. I didn't like it. It sucked.